Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two quarter circles of different dimensions. This uh, quarter circle with the center A and this uh, other quarter circle with the center D. Fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this side length uh, B, C of this rectangle is uh, 9 units whereas uh, this horizontal uh, segment length uh, EB is uh, 8 units and finally this horizontal FC length uh, is uh, 7 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region this uh, area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here is our very first method. And now let's make an observation and focus on this uh, given equation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded area is going to be equal to the sum of these two quarter circle area. This uh, big quarter circle area plus uh, the other smaller quarter circle area as well. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, larger quarter circle and the area of this uh, smaller quarter circle uh, as well. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this uh, larger quarter circle. I'm going to label uh, its uh, radius as uh, uppercase R. Then this radius has got to be uppercase R as well. And now let's focus on this uh, smaller quarter circle. I'm going to label this uh, radius as uh, lowercase r. Then this radius has got to be lowercase r as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side AD length uh, equal to this side uh, BC length. And we know this uh, side uh, AD length is going to be uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r. So I can write uh, uppercase r plus lowercase r and this uh, length has got to be equal to 9. So therefore we can write down uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r is going to be equal to 9 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And here's our next step. I'm going to calculate uh, this side uh, cd length uh, as uh, uppercase r plus 7 and this uh, a b side length is going to be lowercase r plus 8 and since uh, these two side lengths uh, are equal so therefore i can equate them i can write uh, uppercase r plus 7 is going to be equal to lowercase r plus uh, 8 and now I'm going to move this lowercase r uh, to the left hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, 7 in the opposite direction or simply I can write uh, uppercase r minus lowercase r equals to simply 1 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation 1 and equation 2. And now we are going to add these two equations. If we add them, we can see this uh, negative r and positive r, they are gone. So uppercase r plus uppercase r is going to give us 2 times uppercase r equals to 10 on the right hand side. And now we are going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uppercase r. So therefore, we can see that our uppercase r radius value turns out to be five units so thus our uppercase r value turns out to be five and now we are going to substitute this uppercase uh, r value five uh, over here and i'm going to subtract five from both uh, sides and here we can see this five and negative five is gone so therefore our lowercase r value turns out to be four units so thus our lowercase r value turns out to be 4 and uppercase r value is 5. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, larger quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times uh, r square where uppercase r is the radius. 
Therefore, uh, the big quarter circle area is going to be pi times uh, uppercase uh, r square and I'm going to divide this one by 4 and our uppercase r value is 5 so I'm going to substitute that value over here so that is going to become 25 pi divided by 4 and now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, smaller quarter circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again area equals to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius so therefore uh, the smaller quarter circle area is going to be pi lowercase r square and we are going to divide that one by 4 and our lowercase r value is 4 I'm going to substitute that value over here and that is going to be equal to 16 pi divided by 4 and now let's recall this uh, equation once again the blue shaded area equals to the big quarter circle area plus the area of the smaller quarter circle and we already figured out our big quarter circle area and the small quarter circle area as well let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation so our big quarter circle area is 25 pi divided by 4 plus our smaller quarter circle area is 16 pi divided by 4 and now we can see we have the same common denominator and if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us 41 pi divided by 4 square units the area of this blue shaded area and now let me share with you the second method as well and now let's focus on this uh, smaller quarter circle I'm going to label uh, its radius uh, as uh, lowercase r then this uh, radius has got to be lowercase r as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side a b length uh, is equal to this side uh, c d length uh, of this uh, rectangle and we know this uh, segment length is uh, 8 and this segment length uh, is uh, 7 so therefore we conclude that this uh, radius uh, of this uh, larger quarter circle has got to be lowercase r plus 1 if this radius is lowercase r plus 1 then this uh, radius uh, has got to be lowercase r plus 1 as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole side ad length is going to be lowercase r plus uh, lowercase r plus 1 I can write uh, lowercase r plus uh, lowercase r plus 1 now we can see that this uh, side ad length uh, equal to this side bc length we know this length is 2 times r plus 1 and this is equal to 9 so we can equate them so therefore we can write uh, 2 times lowercase r plus 1 equals to 9 let's subtract 1 from both sides this is gone so 2 times lowercase r turns out to be equal to 8 and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate lowercase r so therefore we can see our lowercase r value turns out to be 4 units so thus our lowercase r value turns out to be 4 units and now let's focus on this uh, larger quarter circle I'm going to label its uh, radius as uh, uppercase r then this radius has got to be uppercase r as well and now we can see our uppercase uh, r is going to be equal to lowercase r plus 1 so I can write uppercase r equal to lowercase r plus 1 now we can see our lowercase r value is 4 we are going to substitute that 4 value over here so thus our lowercase r value turns out to be 4 and uppercase r value is 5 by using the second method so thus our blue shaded area turns out to be 41 pi divided by 4 square units by using both methods and that is going to be equal to 32.2 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye